Welcome to Home Bay Chef. Today, we're going to make Korean bulgogi kimbap. Korean kimbap is a dish made from cooked rice and other ingredients rolled in a dried nori or seaweed sheet called kim. It is similar to Japanese maki or nori maki. It's a finger food meal that you can pack with you during your picnic or event outdoors. These are the ingredients which will also be posted on our website, homebaychef.com. Let's begin! This will be the fillings for our kimbap. We'll have rice, cucumber, carrots, egg, pickled radish, spinach, and chicken bulgogi. Let's prepare them one by one. First, we have to season the cooked rice. Make sure that the rice is still hot so it's easy to mix. Add 1 fourth teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of sesame oil. Grab a flat spatula and mix the rice and seasoning in a cutting motion. Koreans use white sticky rice for this but I prefer to use a mix of white, brown, and red rice. Mix well, set aside, and keep it warm. Next, we prepare the chicken bulgogi marinade. Peel and chop the garlic. You can smash it if you're having a hard time removing the skin. These are two cloves of garlic that we will chop finely. Transfer to a bowl and add 1 teaspoon of soy sauce. Ground black pepper. And 1 tablespoon of sugar. We're using white sugar for this recipe. I think we need to add 1 more teaspoon of soy sauce. Mix well and set aside. Next, cut the chicken into strips. We're using chicken breast but you can use any meaty part that you like. Just don't forget to debone it as you don't want any bones on your kimbap. We'll be cutting just enough for two kimbap rolls. That's about one fourth chicken breast. Hold the chicken firmly and gently cut it into strips about half inch thick. Cut the chicken against the grain to produce tender pieces. How about we add some more? Now we're going to tenderize the chicken so it will absorb the marinade well and cook faster. Pound the chicken using the back of your knife to break down the fibers in the meat. Then coat it well with the bulgogi marinade that we prepared earlier.
we let this sit for at least 10 minutes while we prepare the other ingredients. Next, we're going to prepare the carrot filling. Wash the carrot and cut it in half, since one carrot will be too much for two kimbap rolls. Peel the carrots. Cut it in half or about 2 inch thick, then into flat slices. Then into much sticks, also known as Julian cut. Sprinkle with a little bit of salt and mix well to distribute. Transfer to a bowl and then set aside. Next, we're going to prepare the cucumber filling. Wash the cucumber and cut it in half and also the end. Cut it vertically into 3 or 4 parts. Then cut each part into sticks. We'll be using the parts without seeds, so discard the center sticks which are mostly seeds. Next, we're going to prepare the eggs. We're going to use two eggs for this recipe. Crack them into a small bowl and sprinkle with some iodine salt and beat using a fork, a whisk, or chopsticks. Now we're going to cook the fillings starting with the spinach. Boil water in a small pot, add the washed spinach, and cook for 30 seconds to a minute. Then take it out of the water and place in a strainer. Allow it to cool for a bit. Squeeze out excess water. Then set aside. Next, the carrots. Heat pan over medium heat with 1 tablespoon of canola oil. Then add the carrots which we washed and squeezed to drain excess water. Cook it for just 40 seconds or until the carrot sticks are half cooked. Then, transfer to the filling assembly plate. Next, the scrambled eggs. On the same pan, add half tablespoon of canola oil. When the pan is hot enough, add the beaten eggs. Swirl the pan to spread the egg evenly. Cook for about 1 minute or until it is no longer runny. Then, flip the egg and cook for 20 seconds. Transfer to the assembly plate to cool down. When it's cool enough to handle, Place on a chopping board and slice into strips about half inch thick.
then transfer back to the assembly plane. Next, the pickled radish. We're going to use ready-made pickled radish sticks that you can buy from Korean grocery store. We'll need two sticks for this recipe. Place it on your assembly plate and refrigerate the rest for future use. Next, the chicken bulgogi. Using the same pan earlier, add a small amount of canola oil and turn the heat to medium high. Then, add the marinated chicken and stir fry until well done. You can add a little bit more canola oil if pan becomes dry. This is our filling assembly lineup. They are all complete and now we're ready to assemble the kimbap. We'll use a bamboo mat like this one. Make sure to position it horizontally. We'll also use a parchment paper to line the mat so that it will be easier to wash later. Get a kim or roasted seaweed sheet. It has a shiny side and a matte side. Place the kim or seaweed sheet shiny side down. Put some rice on top and spread it thinly using a spatula. Give out around 2 inches from the top. Do not overload it but make sure that there are no bulb patches. Now let's add the rest of the fillings, starting with the chicken. Press it on the rice horizontally in one line. Followed by one piece of pickled radish tea, scrambled eggs, spinach, Carrots, and cucumber. Let's roll. Gently lift the bottom of the mat, gripping it with your thumb and index fingers. Squeeze as you slowly roll the mat. Give the top end of the mat while tucking in the filling. You can peek to see if you've sealed the seaweed sheet or to check if there's no spill. If everything looks good, then finish rolling. Then, do the final squeeze just to make sure that it is compact and won't fall out easily when you eat it. We're almost done! It's okay to see some filling on the sides. Now we'll rub a little bit of sesame oil to give it shine, additional flavor, and aroma. Just make sure to spread the oil thinly and evenly. We're done with one row, one more to go. Now let's slice this into 1 inch bite sized pieces. First, let's slice the end. By the way, this belongs to the chef. Then carefully slice each piece and transfer them one by one onto a serving plate.
and we're finally done. Don't forget to serve this with a side of soy sauce. Please like this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Also, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with new videos. If you make this recipe, snap a pic and hashtag it hashtag homepagechef. We would love to see your creations on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Or let us know in the comment section below. Enjoy this recipe at home or at picnic outdoors. Bye!